This video is sponsored by Twinkle. Harry Edward Styles, born February 1, 1994, is an English singer, songwriter, and actor. His musical career began in 2010 as a solo contestant on the British music competition series The X Factor. Following his elimination, he was brought back to join the boy band One Direction, which went on to become one of the best-selling boy groups of all time before going on an indefinite hiatus in 2016. Styles released his self-titled debut solo album through Columbia Records in 2017. It debuted at number one in the UK and the US and was one of the world's top 10 best-selling albums of the year, while its lead single, Sign of the Times, topped the UK singles chart. Styles' second album, Fine Line, 2019, debuted atop the US Billboard 200 with the biggest ever first week sales by an English male artist, and was the most recent album to be included in Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time in 2020. Its fourth single, Watermelon Sugar, topped the US Billboard Hot 100. Featuring the chart-topping single as it was, Styles' third album, Harry's House, 2022, was widely acclaimed and broke several records. Styles has received various accolades, including two Brit Awards, a Grammy Award, an Ivor Novello Award, and an American Music Award. His film roles include Dunkirk, 2017, Don't Worry Darling, and My Policeman, both 2022. Aside from music and acting, Styles is known for his flamboyant fashion. He is the first man to appear solo on the cover of Vogue. Harry Edward Styles was born on February 1, 1994 in Redditch, Worcestershire, England, the son of landlady Anne Twist. Nacelli, formerly Cox, and finance worker Desmond de Styles. When he was a child, he moved with his parents and older sister, Gemma, to the village of Holmes Chapel in Cheshire. His parents divorced when he was seven years old, and his mother later remarried her business partner John Cox, although they divorced years later. Through her subsequent marriage in 2013 to Robin Twist, who died of cancer in 2017, Styles has an older stepbrother named Mike and a stepsister named Amy. Styles said he had a great childhood and was always supported by his parents. As a child, he sang covers on a karaoke machine he was given by his grandfather, and the first song he recorded was Elvis Presley's The Girl of My Best Friend. Styles attended the Holmes Chapel Comprehensive School, where he was the lead singer for the band White Eskimo, which won a local battle of the band's competition. At the age of 16, he worked part-time at the W. Mandeville Bakery in Holmes Chapel. Styles splits his time between two homes in North London, having previously lived above the Sunset Strip in Los Angeles. He sold his Los Angeles residence, having become disillusioned with the city. He also owns a loft apartment in Manhattan. He lived in the attic of producer Ben Winston's home in Hampstead Heath, London, for 20 months at the beginning of his career while he looked for his own house. Styles believes in karma, and when Chelsea Handler asked if he believes in God, he stated that he considered himself to be more spiritual than religious and that it is naive to say nothing exists and there's nothing above us or more powerful than us. In a 2020 interview with Vogue, Styles shared that he practices Pilates, meditates daily and that he had been adhering to a pescatarian diet for three years. He also attends therapy regularly. From November 2011 to January 2012, 17-year-old Styles dated television presenter Caroline Flack, their relationship stirred controversy, as she was 14 years his senior. He briefly dated American singer-songwriter Taylor Swift later in 2012, leading to fan and media speculation about them writing songs about each other after their breakup. From 2017 to 2018, Styles was in a relationship with French-American model Camille Rowe, who inspired his 2019 album Fine Line. Since January 2021, Styles has been in a relationship with actress and director Olivia Wilde. Rolling Stone said in 2022 that if Styles is already held up to a high standard, his potential partners are held to an unreachable one for some of his fans. In May 2019, Styles was named second on the Sunday Times' rich list of musicians in the UK under 30, with an estimated net worth of 58 million, having previously featured third on the previous year's list with an estimated net worth of 50 million. He maintained his second place position on the list in 2020 and 2021, with estimated net worths of 63 million and 75 million, respectively. 
He topped the list in 2022, becoming the richest musician under 30 in the UK, with his net worth being estimated at 100 million. Treat people with kindness, abbreviated to TPWK, is a slogan used by Styles to promote his message of love, acceptance, and kindness to others. Styles began using the slogan during his debut concert tour in 2017 on a badge on his guitar and tour merchandise, including Pride t-shirts sold to raise funds for Gulson. In a December 2019 interview, he stated, It was a pin I had on my guitar strap and we made t-shirts for it, then I saw a lot of t-shirts around. I'd be driving or something and see someone in one and I started feeling like, oh this is a bit of a thing. The initiative gave Styles the idea to write a song titled after the slogan, which serves as the penultimate track on his second studio album, Fine Line. In October 2019, teaser posters including the phrase Do You Know Who You Are and the acronym TPWK were spotted in London, Tokyo, Los Angeles, New York, and Australia. Fans were able to connect the posters to Styles and his new album release because of the reference to his Treat People With Kindness motto. At the same time, to mark World Mental Health Day, Styles launched a website bot called Do You Know Who You Are, that gives users positive randomist messages using words such as bright, determined, loving, and wonderful, and ending with TPWK. Love, H. H.